And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, my name's Tom Vassell and today we're taking a look at Las Vegas Royale. Now this is a reprint of Las Vegas, which was a highly touted, highly awarded light game in which you roll dice using those dice to win money, and that's Vegas, right? But it's just a rolling dice kind of Yahtzee style, but a very simple, easy game. This is the quote-unquote deluxe version of that game, which adds some stuff to it. You can still play a basic game, but you can add and have a slightly more advanced game. Let me show you. So let's talk about the base game first. You're going to set the board up like this and take a deck of money cards, shuffle it, and lay out pairs of cards. So I have 190,000 here, 70,000, 140,000, 130,000, 120,000, and 120,000. Oh, no, it's 110,000. So the biggest pair goes at the 6. The 100 and the 90 goes there. The second biggest, well, we got 140 goes here, 130, 120, 110, and 70. So I place all the money amounts around from the highest amount going to 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Each player has eight dice. And so when it's your turn, you're going to take these dice and roll them in the middle here. Then you're going to pick one number. So I might say fives. I'll take all the fives and I'll place them here on the five. And then I take all the dice back. And then it's the next person's turn. And so they're going to take all their dice and they're going to roll them. And maybe they'll choose six. And they'll just take this one and put it here. Now each player starts the game with two chips. And if you don't like what you've rolled, you can spend a chip to just take all your dice back and not put them out anywhere. You're going to keep doing this until everyone has placed all their dice. Once all the dice are placed out, then players are going to see who won each one with the most amount of dice, but there's a, you notice each one person has a big die. That dice counts for two. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, three, two, and one. So purple has the most, five, so they get the bigger bill, 100,000. Blue is the second most, three, and they would get 90,000. Over here, red has the most, gets 100. Green as the second most gets 40. Here, blue as the most, they get 70. But these two tie, all these three tie, so they get nothing. Here, all the people who tie, two, 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 and two, get nothing. That leaves only purple, so purple would get both bills here, 120. Yellow's the only person to go here and here, so they would get all those bills. So yellow's doing pretty well. You take all your dice out. Everyone gets two more chips, you deal out cards, you do this for three rounds. After three rounds, whoever has the most money is the winner. In the advanced game, you're going to shuffle through a bunch of tiles here, which are two-sided, and place those on the one, the two, and the three sections. I mean, if you want to be crazy, you could add them to the four, five, and six. Whenever you put a dice there, you're going to activate that spot. And each of these spots is going to activate differently. So for example, this tile here, the handicap, has you place two of these gray dice on each of the four, five, and six, and one gray uh, cube on one through three areas. Now, these cubes count as a die for tie purposes and for controlling an area, but whenever you activate it, whenever you put a three, one or more threes here, you activate it, you can put a die on one of these spots here, one that you can pull one off the board and get a reward, a chip, or 30,000, or move one of your dice to any spot you want. Here at prime time, if you win this one, you would calculate this casino first, you would immediately get the pair of black dice, roll those, and get to add them somewhere where they might help you out. If you go to no entry, you'll move a token around here, which will allow you to get some rewards, and you also will be able to put the no entry token on top of a number, which means nobody can put anything on that number until the no entry token is moved. And like I said, all of these have various things that they'll do. Here, you drop down dice and get rewards. There's all sorts of things. And again, they each have double sides. So there's various things. You know, you're never going to play the same game twice. Each round, you'll use three different boards. Ah, the money cards are fine. Easy to see, small little cards, but you're just using them for money. You're not using them for cards. The dice are, f are fine. Very good quality dice. The smaller ones seem 
you know, they're easier to read than the bigger ones. But I do like that the bigger ones have black pips. It helps emphasize not only are they bigger, they're different dice. The chips here are... <sighs> They're okay. They don't stack, which is weird. They have this feeling like they, 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 they should stack. I don't know. I also don't mind these boards. I mean, everything fits together okay, but come on now. You know, for a board that is so big, maybe you could have written. I know that they're trying to sell an international version of this, I guess, but these symbols often, what does this mean? I'm not sure. I felt like they could have done a better job with that. Overall, the components for the game are fine. They just don't feel like a deluxe version. They just feel like a normal version. Okay, I know it is not as deluxe as it, as it could have been. They could have made it look a lot nicer. And some people actually may not like the bigger look of this as opposed to the small compact version this originally came out with. But I gotta tell you, my opinion on this has consistently gone up because every time I play this, it is just hilarious fun. The core concept of the game, roll dice, pick a number, is really simple. I get four sixes. Do I want to stick four sixes in the six? It seems like I should because I can win the money there, but uh, maybe the one there, no one else is going there. But it's just a simple thing. Roll dice, pick one. Very simple game. And the base game for Las Vegas is fine. Actually, if you're playing the base game, you might as well not even play, pick, put the pairs of cards in numeric order. Just put two cards out of each number. It's a faster way to play. Ones and sixes, what does it matter? Now, in the advanced game, you definitely want the higher money at the sixes because the ones, twos, and threes give you special abilities. I like the advanced version even better because it has these really cool things. There's push your lock, do a little bit of gambling, stuff like that. But I will say because the text isn't on them, you are constantly having to say, okay, how does this work? How does this work? How does this work? Once you explain it, it's fine. I just wish there was an easier way to understand what each of those boards did. Despite that, though, there's stand-up moments. There's laugh-out-loud moments. This game is such a great game. Every time we play it, everyone at the table is laughing and having a good time. It is essentially a party game. A party game in which you might lose, but at least you're going home with some money. Well, not real money, but you know what I mean? There's not the whole feeling of losing money, but there is that area control, having more dice in the area than someone else. Having that one die that's bigger than everybody else. Where do you place it? When do you place it? You have to put out all your twos. I only wanted to put out three or one to go ahead of Johnny, but I rolled four. Hmm. And it plays around really quickly. It's simple. It's fast. It's fun. And it has the, the option to make it more complex or just play as a base simple game. I really, really like this one a lot. If I don't know what kind of game to bring out, I have a group of people and we just want to play something fast and fun or people who don't play a lot of board games, this is certainly one I would recommend. That's Las Vegas Deluxe or Royale. Dice Tower Judgment, excellent! Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.